Rose. Elam Rose. Huss. Period. Shout out to my boy E. Keep it going. Huss. This for you, boy. Huss. Boy, I got a unique huss. I had to get it out the mud. I huss. XO. I ain't waiting on shit. I huss. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? What's going on? You know I'm down. Hey, so check it, man. Um, sometimes, man, you 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 run into things, and you you be on the internet all through the night. You know what I'm saying? And and you just happen to scroll through something, and, and you see something to catch your attention, man. So, man, it, it, this 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 young lady today don't need no introduction, really. She been hustling for and grinding for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You you may have seen her dealing with half paint film. You 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 might have seen her uh, on that round rock, right? Yeah. Hey, man, it's your girl Unique. She in the building. What's up, baby? Hey, it's Unique music i'm here What's unique up? music is here guys and hey man we needed this one so so unique man i got to talk about you the other week a little bit too right man you 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 something else man i love the way i love your chemistry and the music that you do so i mean just tell us because i don't want to go too far in just tell us a little bit about yourself okay so um i'm unique music i've been doing music for probably about five years now um my main genres is trap music, turn up music, club bangers, everything that got to do with that. I'm in the entertainment business, so I don't just rap. I do um, broadcasting. I do promos. I do shows. I do it all. If it's got to do with entertainment, I'm there. I'm trying to get a dollar. That's it. Man, just, you know, the thing I say is the sound, man. The sound is crazy in Dallas, man. So what made you get into the music? Okay, so since I was younger, I've been loving music, right? And I was really attracted to Lil Wayne because I loved his metaphors and stuff like that. So I knew if I wanted to do something, I was going to be that rapper with the metaphors. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I didn't want to just be a plain, basic rapper. You know, you got your rappers that tell stories and stuff like that. No disrespect and stuff to them. But I just was, I was just, I was really in love with Lil Wayne, for real. Really? Lil since, Wayne? Since I was young. And it's my mama's fault. She used to play <laughs> Lil Wayne all the time. We would clean up the house, everything. She used to play Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne. And so I just got so fascinated with rap. That Lil From Wayne, him. yeah, yeah, that you had to do it. Yeah, I had and he to. was an intelligent rapper. Wayne's always been, and you know, he he might not dress the way you want him to right now, <laughs> but the boy is definitely intelligent when it comes down to what definitely, he do. Yes. And he in the hey, he from the South, man. You know, the South, something else. We take over. We kick the dough in. You know, so um, female artists, Dallas area. That's the that that's something else, man. Who you know when you think of female artists, Dallas area, you think of Erica Badu, you think of um, you know different. Who else you think of? Give me somebody else. Um, right now, Erica you need music, nigga. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget about me. Already, hey, but Erica Bates. They gotta leave. They gotta scoot over. They gotta oh, they gotta in. make Period. room, right? That's it. They got to that's make it. room. You gotta open the door because I'm knocking. I've been knocking. And I see you though. You working, but the thing is, you mentioned Erica Banks. That's who you said. I heard uh -huh. you. So, yeah. so have you guys ever crossed paths over all these years? So, me and her, um, we had a talk before we were supposed to do a record together, but I had got pregnant with my baby. So, okay, okay. So I had really stopped for a little bit, and then next thing you know, I just you know, she took off, and I was like, "Go, damn, go. she went." <laughs> But the thing is, like, like, no. like, 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 so that's that's love. Like yeah. for you to even think that way, you know, uh -huh. a lot of people be hating. Uh uh. Oh I yeah. Support, I gotta support my city. You love your I city. Know, I love my city. I know um, a lot of people in my city. They don't get the support that they need. It's a shame that they gotta go to other states and other cities to get the support they should have right here at Ain't home. Ain't that something? So I'm big on that, bro. You saying something I'm because that's that. what VIPYG was saying the other night. Like I had to go when I get girls to dance in my video. The girls in the city don't even dance. When I have to sh bring girls from Miami mm -hmm. and Atlanta. To come even get the love because the city don't show me no yeah. love. They don't they don't rock with me. So I just go outside of the parameters. I was like, dude, you got to do what you got to do to push your music out there. But I agree with you mm -hmm. that you need that that infrastructure, that support right here in the city where you from and you where you that. at. You yeah, it just is. It's, it's so much better. It's so yeah. much better. Like, I feel like you shouldn't have to go, you know, what I'm saying outside your city to try to make, you know, we got to show each other love and it's more people like me, then we can be great. 
You yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. So what part of Dallas are you from? So I'm from um, Oak Cliff, Holland Hills, to be exact. Holland Hills? Period. Man, my nigga Gator man from over there, <laughs> man. I, you, you don't even know Holland Hills, man. Y'all yeah. boy. Oh, y'all silly yeah. over there, man. Yeah. Y'all got some talent over there. Yeah, 2939 see, Midway Plaza. That's see, y'all got to know. Y'all got to know. Y'all ain't from Dallas. You don't know where Holland Hills at. Don't come acting like you from Dallas when you get here because you get consumed by all this energy that we got. Fact. Don't even try it, nigga. We know if you from here, you say either you from Highland Hills or something, we can rock with you. But don't right. come over here talking like you know and don't know. Dallas is hot right now. Everybody in the city, the eyes is on the on the Dallas market. Mm -hmm. And and mo like I always say, most of the people that trying to get on a lot of time, they come through the Dallas Dallas Avenue. They gotta they gotta get, come to DFW. And it's crazy because you got so many here. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Other people come here to make it, but we gotta go somewhere else to make it. That ain't you know what That's I'm saying? Crazy. What sense does that make? That's crazy. But you know, profit is without honor in his own country. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why that that's why it happens that way. A lot of times, if you do move and go somewhere else, you will be embraced a lot more just because people they accept you for what you're doing at the time. Most people in the city that you're at, they're trying to make you who they used to know you as. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're catching me, but you got to catch. You got to under D. They keep trying talking, to yeah talking. yeah they trying to catch where you was. They don't want to see you grow a lot of times, so they know the unique from back in the day at mm -hmm. high school or something. Mm -hmm. And so you keep evolving, and you say no. Oh, that's not me no more but they they want to put you back in that mind state and so that's what confuses the whole algorithm of trying to understand who unique is you see what i'm saying yeah. so you go to another city and they don't know you from back in the day so they say oh man you dope yeah, just like you, you are what you, get. you see yeah. what i'm saying and yeah. that's what that i'm makes saying a lot of sense. that's that that's all i'm sense. saying it's just a profit that i own his own country and, and you if you do like i always tell artists like don't be afraid to go out and deal with other cities because that that that's cross marketing. People, you got to try to bless as many people as touch as many people as you can. That's why when you I see you on your social media bids and all that, you reaching out past Dallas, and you and I both know that. Mm -hmm. People that see you, you be like, dang, you know, you start looking at your analytics, you be like, I'm doing better over here. Why do people feel my sound over here more than they do where I'm from? Don't let that be the reason to discourage you. That's a reason to pretty much get over there and understand what they love and push it even more. And as they as right. you grow in that area, other people gonna rock with you. Yeah. Dallas coming. They ain't got no other choice. Look at man, everybody in Dallas was busting it for Erica Banks. Yes. They didn't matter what. They didn't give a dang TikTok didn't care about where you were from. They wasn't they, they wasn't busting it until she got to a certain well, level yeah, though. That's they right. don't they don't respect you until you that's get to right. a certain that's level. That's right. That's right. I think it shouldn't be like that. It should be support from, from the bottom all the way up. But I love social media because it just pretty much tells you what it is and you have no other choice but to accept it. You have to. You, don't you see have what a I'm saying? Now. You if, when you look, you be like, damn. Yeah. And it tells you who you are. Mm -hmm. If you got this many people following you, if you that got that kind of impact, you can't get around what it's telling you. It's telling you this is who you are. And if you can get that part, then you can be dangerous because you know how to maneuver in the midst of who you are. Right. Do you get it? I got you. I'm following you. I'm following you. I'm following you. I'm listening. So, so um, how did you and Half Pint, because you got so many videos with this guy. And, you know, I've been kind of hard on Half Pint because I just feel like people just use him and move on from him. And I ain't going to lie. Yeah. And that kind of be messing with me. And I'm kind of like a loyalty is over everything with mm -hmm. me. And I people be like, oh, no, but they didn't sign to him. I'd be like, no, but... Hell, he was working with them then. How come they can't come back and do something with him now? I don't like that. Yeah. You know, you done got on. It's been three years, four years, two years. What's up with you and Half Pint? Why y'all ain't came back together collectively and done something? Oh, yeah, I said it's the truth. Yeah. So yeah. I look at that and I look at loyalty and I'm like, okay, is it that they just saying, okay, we don't want to work with him no more? We own now. We don't need him no more. That's how people feel. I don't think that's, that's how right. Feel. I don't think that's right either. He definitely don't get the recognition that he deserves. That's all I'm that. saying. Shout out Half exactly. Pain. Hey, your boy over here, E Boss Talk, gonna let it be known. Hey, loyalty is over all, everything. Loyalty and respect is over everything. And I don't know his situation, but I just say, looking from the outside, looking in, he put in a lot of work for the for those cats, and and, he do. and, and you got to stay true to it mm -hmm. once you do get on. Like uh, unique, get on unique music, go. I be like, okay, let me get that nigga a bone. Let me do something for him because at the end of the day, he gave me opportunity when nobody else would. That's all facts. And he that type of person too. All I'm saying is He's you got to look out for people because they look out for you. It, it, karma is something else. I call it you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. So if you don't do right by people, it's coming back at you full swing. So you better make sure the people who look out for you, 
you at least say, hey, man, when I didn't have nothing, when I had number $150, $200, he rocked with me. Period. And yeah, yeah, because you come from nothing. Yeah, you come from nothing. You ain't come from everything. Yeah, the lights wasn't that so big at first. The cameras wasn't that big. Everybody didn't have a red when I first started out. Mm -hmm. That red camera came later on. Oh, I'm ready, boy. I can tell the truth. See, this I like my platform. I get to say what the hell I want to say. You're <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> but, but, so how, how you and Half Pint uh, so, relationship? How um, did that How did that happen? Old Boy Prince introduced me to really? Half Pint. Yeah, so. So I, I didn't even know they was even kicking it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, really? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So he introduced me to him, and um, I will go and watch his videos. I just, I just noticed how big of a following that he had. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. Sometimes I will record my videos on my own, and then I'll go to him for uploads and stuff like that. Yeah. And it just became a, a situation like That's that. What's and it's up. still like that to this day. He done shot a few of my videos. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. But the thing I say is, you know, and I say this a lot because girls, they got it bad. But I always say this. I say it here live on Boss Talk 101. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Followers don't equate, equate to the money that you see them have the impact that they so-called have. You can have 40, 100,000 and be broke. Mm -hmm. Am I right? You can. So you, you you have to learn how to turn that into an ROI. If you don't turn that to an ROI, then you just out here, you, 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 what, you hood pop, right? You, you, you famous in the hood and you ain't really, you got to know how to deal with that. Yeah. And so that's something in itself. That's something I feel like people got to, they got to figure out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How to turn everything to ROI. It's been a Corona time, Corona season. So I think that's been a thing that now you had an excuse. Oh, well, we can't do it, but get over here and do it this way. But now when these doors pop back open, because they popping back open slowly mm -hmm. but surely, what the hell are you going to do? The coronavirus was actually a blessing because, you know, everybody just sitting at home on their phone. So what? I'm going to put it in their face then. It's the best time, really. Correct. You know? Correct. You're right. It's the best time you to right. do it. You're right. You, yeah. Corona, you know what I mean? You was talking a little bit off air, and Corona was good in that sense for people who had their mind on straight, people who was able to understand how to deal with being in that solitary mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. But what about those people who the strip club was pretty much sh sheltering? Ho yeah. hovering over to yeah. where it kept them from getting in trouble and then like I said my girl Gigi when she passed away I seen that in a way to where R.I.P. Gigi I was like man I wish the club would have been popping open to where she might not have been in the place that she was at and she may still be here with us today that's I all agree. I'm saying because it's a lot of times you move different during that time y'all know that mm -hmm. we wasn't moving the same it, it was things that was changing the way we would move I didn't go here and I didn't go there no more but you could isolate yourself to a hotel or isolate yourself to a situation where you weren't around people or couldn't even go to these places because they were closed and sometimes you got yourself in trouble where you would have did this different if the doors and if the population would have been open yeah and it's a lot of people that suffer from like depression and stuff and they correct. can't handle that correct I mean? correct like, there you go outside, that's what i'm talking like, about you're you know, killing it that's people exactly. um committing suicide and stuff like that because they're not used to being you know in a box so i understand what you're saying yeah yeah I really do. yeah you gotta have your head on straight mm -hmm. to be able to deal with certain situations right so let's get back to your music though step to What's up, babe? I mean, Mr. Maker, I'm, I'm going to get your name right here in a minute. What? What? The official Mr. Maker. All right, I ain't tripping. The official. She don't said that. Love. Don't even trip. Like, don't get it together. Love. I've heard this over and over again every time I look around. Like, the official Mr. Maker. What kind of questions do you have for the uh, have you unique Have you always music? wanted to be a rapper as a kid? So, um, yes and no, okay? Because I would hear Lil Wayne and I used to, I used to, I used to love Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still love Lil Wayne, but that's what really got me into the rapping part. But I also liked all the singers too, the R&B singers and stuff like that, right? So I can't sing. So I was like, I got to get in the game some type of way. <laughs> like, I'm an entertainer. I got to do something. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, let, let's just try this rapping. So I used to like, you know, freestyle in school and stuff like that. You and know from what, what age? From, I think, probably about... The beginning of high school, so like ninth okay. grade, okay. you know, I was getting like more and more into it, but I really didn't talk, start taking it serious till probably about five years ago. So, mm. yeah, okay. I used to just play around with it, write different raps, and da, da, da. people used to be like, "You go hard," and it's like, you know. So, what was the hobby. turning point that made you go serious? What was it? Someone who said something to you? Yes, or? yes. Who said I ran something? into Old Boy Prince, right? Okay. Um, oh, I met him at his house, oh. and I was supposed to be in a music video, right? So the video didn't go through or whatever. 
And I was just telling him I'm a rapper. I let him hear some songs, and he was like, shit, since we can't go, um, since we're not going to do my video, we can go outside and record yours. You want to record a video? And then ever since then, I've been taking it, you know? Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. How All you need is one person to believe in you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? To give you that extra push. But at the oh. end of the day, you need to believe in yourself yeah. more than anything else. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just reassurance. Like, you know, I don't know. So oh, you yeah. telling you you can do it, go, 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 and make you, you know what I'm saying, push the gas a little bit harder. I understand you know? what well, you're what's saying. the exclusive? I mean, you're going to give us today so everybody will know what's up with you. What's up? Give us something that you don't mean? nobody else know. Hell, All right. we, we ain't coming this thing to get just some uh, uh, stuff you tell everybody else on Instagram. This Period. is serious business over this. here. We Boss Talk 101 ain't playing no games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we want we want what you don't give them, right? Mm -hmm. So so what's up with the music? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so, Let's talk about it. What um the song what that that last video you was on with those guys what what was the name of that song uh C E C I got the song right here hold on I because I did my research I'm talking about wish oh hold on yeah yeah it was wish but it was with N G C what's up with them boy Mad Max yeah. Oh, yeah that's my dog that's my dog right yeah there. yeah Mad Max so what what how did that how did that thing come together um Instagram pretty much I'm trying to like I wanted to get a song with every hot person in the city I wanted to do features with you know what i'm saying yeah. so i just started with him and i'm just gonna go go you know straight what I mean? through him yeah, run he, straight yeah, through him yeah he do numbers so I he was do like, numbers yeah. so i'm gonna rock with it's, him it's i like your it's energy smart. it's smart what you part of town is he from um i don't know you don't you know, even know fort worth, but I don't oh he from fort worth yeah, okay I well think, that's all i, I need think, don't don't okay don't we don't don't, don't don't quote on that y'all we gonna but find out where he's from almost sure you're almost sure yeah he sound good yeah he is but you it's like you took the song over i'm watching all that yeah, yeah, you just well, you hooking know. it and singing it and hooking yeah. it. You was all over. If you fighting and, and you I in do. a tug of war, you're, <laughs> you all over the song. So I was like, I don't know. Is that unique That's music unique song? Music. Then I asked that. That's how I do it, man. You did a good job on that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I love and the visuals. I love the visuals as well. Mm -hmm. Did Half Pine? He didn't shoot that, did he? No, Half Pine okay. didn't shoot that. Who uh, shot that? Prince shot that. Prince, Prince shot that. Really? Mm hmm. Edited and everything. You know yeah. what? That nigga right there, he can do all it all. All around. All around. I like that nigga right there. I love when somebody can do <laughs> this and that, and they don't just do one thing, put themselves in a box. Yeah, no. You know, because when I first met him, he did a, a shoot here. Mm -hmm. And that's how I met him. A video shoot? Yes. What, you remember the song? Uh, it was for XO. Oh, okay. It Got was you. it was a nice yeah. song. Uh, it was uh, back it back it up or something. It was something she was doing with the. Uh -huh. It was like a a, a New Orleans uh, uh, uh that Manny Fresh type. Mm -hmm. It was that same back that thing up type Five. song, yeah, yeah. Got you. Got so I, it was nice, and 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 he was he was working it out, man. And that's that's what I like about him. He do both things, do yeah. whatever. Yeah, For anything real. I gotta do with entertainment. Like I'm trying to be all over it. He be trying to. You be the all same. Over you the same, same way. way. Same way. I don't know how to shoot videos, but I want to learn. You want to yeah. learn? Yeah. Can you? you, <laughs> you, 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 you I'd be you interested. Learn. Sometimes I be holding the wrong and stuff. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't really know what I'm doing. You yeah, but you got saying? it though. Yeah. You know it does yeah. it itself. That's one right there. Yeah. If you just hold it, it'll do it. You just you, you get used to your arm wave <laughs> movement. <laughs> right. <I'm laughs> but a lot of it, a lot of it come in editing phases too. So it's mm -hmm. a lot more to it than just holding the wrong. And it's all he knows that. And then you got to edit and you got to deal with uh, different uh, software to make sure that everybody's stuff looking good. Yeah. And then they word the hell out of you. Where my video on yeah, Where my video like on I don't want to hear that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah. shut up till I get through with it. I'm, right. I'm over here doing this, mastering this crap. Yeah, I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, but so so you had a baby. That's it. How did that I change things for you? How, what oh was your baby goodness. name? Now? Maybe you don't want to put it out there. I don't know. I don't mind. Okay, what's, what's up then? My baby name is Simeon, and he's everything. Simeon. Simeon, that's my baby. King Simeon. Yeah, that's Yes, it. sir. Yes, that's sir. It. Yeah. So, he really he really changed my life. I started getting into music. Um, I started taking it serious, and then uh, probably a year later, I got pregnant with him. So I had to stop a little bit. Yeah, the, I had to stop thing. a little bit to try to make sure. You know, I had a really, really, really tough pregnancy. So, you know, really? how some people, yeah, some people can like push through it. And yeah, still do it, man. I was, I was. Was you morning sickness? Morning sickness. Talk to her about that. I don't it know what I'm about to put the stomach. What, what's up? All that stuff. You know, you done did it for me. So how long did I didn't have morning sickness at all? <laughs> Let's go. But how long were you sick for? <laughs> um, eight months after nine months. So you know that feeling when you drink? I can kind of yeah, 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 yeah. When you drink, you have a hangover, like your st stomach you hangover. You had a hangover for nine, for eight months. Eight months straight, I felt like that. Wow. Was you on bed rest? I wasn't on bed rest, like okay. you know, from the doctors, but shit, I was on bed rest. But did you? But how was the <laughs> delivery? How was the delivery? The delivery was horrible too. I was in labor for seventy eight hours. Dang. How was your tea lady? 
Was she? Yeah, she, yeah. You know, you, we from Dallas. We say tea lady, yeah, tea Jones. Yeah. How was your tea lady? Was, did she have those type yeah. of complications with you? She did it. She had five kids, and she said we just all popped out. She was like Everybody four or five hours. Yeah, labors Everybody's and stuff different. like that. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to have another one? No. After all of that? No. <laughs> Nobody want to keep doing that. <laughs> no. But you know the next one is not going to be the same. Yeah, I know everybody telling me that, but no. It's gonna, you know it, what I'm it's saying? Gonna be Y'all easier. told me that um, having a baby wasn't going to be hard at all. You know, the first one was going to be good. And, you know, I trust that and believe that, but I'm like, no. She said no. I can't yeah. do it again. She ain't the next doing one it no won't more. be like that. I can't. It won't be like that. I can't. Mm-mm. He's a blessing. He's good enough. Trust me. But, you know, he's going to want a sibling to play it with. You know what? A lot of people be telling me that, too. Like, don't be selfish. You got to have another one so he can at least have somebody to play with and stuff like that. I think about stuff like that, but I'm like, you know, he got a cousin that's uh, 13 days um, older. No, 13 days younger than him. You know what I'm saying? And they always together. So I'm like, that's his sister. You know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was pregnant, and then um, my baby daddy's sister was pregnant at the same time, so... She got so a baby. Help. Yeah, yeah, it helps. You know, <laughs> she it's her first one. It's my first one. You know what I'm saying? So, but she didn't have a difficult pregnancy like you did. She did, but hers wasn't morning sickness. You know what I'm saying? It was like, um, it, it was some health issues. You know what I'm so saying? So y'all but, could go through it together. Yeah, but she was still active. Like she was still able to work. She was a beast when she was pregnant, working three jobs and da da da. Like I couldn't do none of that. Like I was. Our you pregnancy was. was, yeah, no, our pregnancy was totally different. But just imagine having that feeling, though, did you every have day, it, every day, did all day. Did you have them naturally or did you? Yeah, um, I had them naturally. See, that's good. Yeah. It was, it was, I mean, I had already been through enough, so I was like, whatever, you know. I was like, whatever, let's go ahead and do it. But, they didn't listen. What's up with that song? Hey, that's that's one of my, man, I was pregnant when I wrote that. They didn't listen. I was you know pregnant I mean? when I wrote that. You know what I'm saying? I was dropping video after video after video after video, and I'm just like, man, like, what's going on? You know, so that's what inspired that song. Really? Yes. Do you I write love, that's all one of my songs? favorite. Yes, yeah, I write all I'm, of my I'm songs. I'm yeah. all over. Don't think I'm not playing over here. This is yeah. real serious yeah. for me. Like, yeah. I was so excited to get you here because... I think the new talent and the way, you know, we embrace the new talent. And then, you know, I didn't get the chance to interview Erica Banks, but I had hit her up early on in her career where mm-hmm. I told her, you're going to do good things before she was dealing with top off or any of that. Mm-hmm. And she hit me back and said, thank you so much. So I love, and this was before even I was doing podcasts and I just love the new artists and how he they love come. music. Yeah. Yeah. Period. yeah. I'm so the same way. Yeah. So I'm like trying to figure out who's going to be next. So yeah. I want to see the female in there. Unique we music nev- up next. <laughs> Already. That's right. the what I'm talking about. Unique music up next. Stop period. playing. She here now. Don't play with me. So full, have you, when, when is the next full project coming? So um, I just did a feature and it's called Kitty Cat. Okay. With Browns. This dude named Browns that's rapping. He's out of Fort Worth as well. Browns. That sound familiar? No, it ain't my Browns. No, No, my I got it's Brown. Yes. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. So it's, it's Brown. Yeah. He just was, yeah, here. He was here. That's yeah. my guy. Yeah. So we he, got a song. You did the right thing. I've been telling these niggas yes. the whole time. You need to get on there with his Browns. That's a whole different demographic of people. And and they oh no, you know yeah. I don't know. I'm like yeah. nigga, it ain't no. It's a no brainer for me. You got to yes. get on there with him. You got to be smart when it comes to this music, man. Mm-hmm. You got to be smart. And he's from Terrell. He's not from okay. Fort Worth. Okay, okay, But he bad. All I right. love him. Yeah. Because yeah, you know he how hard. to, he, yeah, he, he bad, man. And mm-hmm. and he's just my guy. And he push. He push yeah. hard. And he yeah, working. Hard. He working. He work. He send me something all the time. He going to say E. And he going to pick up and call me. That's how I be. when Once we can, we connect, mm-hmm. oh, man, it's on. It's like, nigga, we better get yeah. there. We going, nigga. Yeah, this song is hot. Man, this song fire. This this kitty cat I can't song, wait to see it, man. When it's coming it's out. Hot. Um, Shout out so to Brown, just, man. So we just recorded the video. Money about, Minds. Maybe three weeks ago. So we're still waiting on him to edit it and stuff like that. But yeah, we both going to be pushing it. We both going to be doing our thing. So that's the next He got a good following got. too. Yeah. That's what you were, by, mm-hmm. you were saying that, wasn't you? Yeah, he got a good following. Yeah, he does. He do. He do. He do. He do. That's a different market. I'm mm-hmm. telling you now. It's a whole different... You about to get in? You you over here and uh, they gonna be playing you in Mexico. Yeah, we had the Latinas in the video. And stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm I was telling like, you. Okay, turn up. Yeah, and he yeah. Right, and they say he sound black to me. He sound different. I ain't gonna say black. He, sound black he, to he me. about in the middle, man. Like he could go either way if he wanted to. I mean, but if I heard him without seeing you him, think I he was think, a black guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what you think? Same with Post Malone. It's the same. Like I don't. I don't look Post look Malone. at Post Malone oh, like he's Post Malone is a sound, pop artist. Yeah, but I, but I love that cat. He yeah, can go. Yeah, he can go. But he he can go either way. That's what I'm telling you. Like mm-hmm. Post can change it up. He ain't got. He can go all the way pop, or he can come back and try. You know, hit the lyrics. Mm-hmm. So you know, you don't yeah. ever know with these people. They hey, they versatile. You yeah. supposed to be. You supposed to be. Uh huh. Yeah. I out love of everybody, pop music. Mm-hmm. out of everybody out there, who would you? want to collab with one day 
Um, money bag. Money bag, yo. Money bag, yo. You hear us over here. Money, <laughs> money bag, bag, yo. Yeah, that's For a shout sure. out. Shout out to Money Bag, yo. Unique music. Yes. Say she'll rock with you. Yes. Yeah, it, it, exclusive game. Where well, you hanging out over there too? We see you. Period. Yeah, <laughs> I like. I love Money Bag. I like his. He's he's a metaphoric rapper, just like Lil Wayne is, but his is more street. You get what I'm saying? So he like the perfect. He perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta it's a get perfect on the, combination. And you rock out yeah, with that nigga. Period. God gonna make well, it happen. Turn it up. God gonna it make up. it happen. Yeah. So. You gotta you gotta talk to your guy though to get that to happen. You know, yeah. he's CMG. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All white, all white. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, okay. you gotta, you gotta talk to that boy to make that happen. Yeah. Write the, write the perfect song and say, I got, I, I got, I got something I right want here. you to get on. Yeah. And, and then step out on faith. Send the email out. Quit playing with these folks. Right. <laughs> right. Black, you gonna take care of that? All right, bet. Keep going. All right, bet. <laughs> I hate when he put me on the spot. But um, so where do you see yourself in the next? I'm gonna give you two years. The next two years, I want to be. I say within the next two years, probably the next year, I'm trying to be up there. And that's a, that's it's only going to take you. It's only going to take you about one or two years to get there. I'm thinking, yeah. If I work, it depends on how hard you work, how fast you work, how hard you work. You know, so you can do whatever you put your mind to. That's true. That oh. that is, that is so true. And what do you think it's going to take for you to get there? Um, more visuals, dropping more music, uh, marketing better, all those type things. How often you think you? Not not think, how often will you start to push out music? So I need to be dropping something at least once a month. That's, you know, because you got to stay relevant. You know what I mean? You can't go hard for a few months and then fall off the scene and try to come back and all that. You got to keep it in their face. You know what I mean? So if I be consistent and I go, you know, at least drop something every month, which I'm doing already this, you know what I'm saying, this mm-hmm. year, mm-hmm. then I figure it can take me further. Yeah. Yeah. Once you started, you just can't go back. You just got to keep doing it. Yeah. You got to keep going. Yeah, and don't sure. get pregnant again. Yeah, because I was <laughs> definitely going. You hear me? I was dropping some every month. I was going crazy, and then it's like you know, well, but it, it was a blessing. I'm glad that you know. Yeah, of course, I'm glad that he's that it a happened. blessing. Yes, crash yes. the party. Yeah, crash the party. What? What? When was that? When? What happened with that? So, crash the party is not one of my favorites. I yeah, mean, well, I, I mean, hook. you did. I love it. the hook. I love the hook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, let me think about crash the party. Okay, I think I was in the south, and I was just listening to some beats. And um, probably the night before I had went to a party. And that's how I am. I'm the, I'm the lit friend. I'm the one that's on the dance floor the whole time. Okay. We walk okay. in the summer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's kind of how I got that idea mm-hmm. for Crash the Party. Because I go in party. and, then, you know, you got all the females looking at you with your no- with their nose turned up and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, let me go on and uh, Crash the Party. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> crash the Party. Crash so that's how I came party. up with that. Yeah. But you said that's not your favorite. So which one is your favorite? They didn't listen. They didn't listen. My she said that earlier. Yeah. yeah. They didn't listen. She liked that one. But that's my favorite that I have dropped. Like, I got so many more so songs. So you have some that's not dropped that yes. you know that is way better than... I gotta ask you about okay. something right. too. I okay. gotta ask okay. you about something because it's a little nigga. Wink, wink. Let me say, about, <laughs> let me say, talk about this little nigga right quick. It's a little nigga that you know that I know. It's a Ooh. little nigga, a little bitty nigga, and I got Ooh. issues with him right now. And he better come see me if he know what's good oh, for yeah. him. nigga. You on the block, nigga. You can't run. You can rub, you can't hide. You better come see me, little nigga. Uh, Rock T. How did you end up getting with Rock oh, T? Man. That's my His guy. Beats. He come here. <laughs> this is where he, he he was birthed from over here in this area. He from here. You know yeah, that. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You bought him yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah so yeah, big fan of he That's was a, he was a fan of mine. And then he surpassed me and started doing something with everybody else. Mm-hmm. And I kind of lost kind of lost him a little bit. Mm-hmm. But he's my that's my little guy, man. Love that dude. You know. Um, when he first met me, I always tell this story. He stopped the press. Hey, stopped the line. At, he was working at the dollar store. That's mm-hmm. how far I go back. Yeah. He was like, you unique also. What you doing here? I'm like, man, I'm a store right up the street. Yeah. He like, man, can we take a picture? And, and you know, just was a big fan and embraced me. Then him and his manager, they came up here after they got going. He was always about his music. And then we seen each other here recently at the guitar store. So he, where did you think he was from? Um, I didn't know. I mean, I found him off of YouTube. Yeah, yeah. He you know, he worked hard on YouTube. Yeah, I found him off of YouTube, man. I'm sitting I there listening maybe to his beats. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, and you didn't like, know he was right hard. here in your area. I he don't even, he don't even push it like that either. Yeah. That's yeah. what I like about it. That's where I found him at, right off of YouTube. He man. working with Money Money Man right now more yeah. than anything. Well, that's good. Yeah, Money Man, Jordan Luca, Lil Baby. He done mm-hmm. did all these people music, man. He hot. Yeah. So you got a hot, so you got, I got a hot oh, song. Oh, you got a hot yeah. song. Trap. You got yeah. yeah, you got it. That's what <laughs> I, I was like, look, I'm always trying to find beats like that. You get what I'm saying? Well, he's over That's in this my area. Avenue. That's my avenue. Like, I love the trap beat, man. It's it's crazy. Everybody be lit. 
Yeah. Every show be lit. Yeah. I always perform trap and um pop it for some bands. And when I tell you everybody be so lit off trap, it's crazy. Mm. I gotta perform that last because I'm so lit. You get <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> when he said right to you about to turn it yes, up, that my little nigga. I said, Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, he hard. <laughs> Hard, hey, hard. And he, like I say, he in the area, but he don't. I love it because he's so, he's so, he don't come out. He, you don't even know what he, who he, he yeah. getting, he getting plaques. He getting, he getting recognized in different ways because of the music and he just pretty much stayed low key. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go rock team. Send me some more beats like trap if you heard it. Oh yeah. So let me ask you. He, okay, I like to put people on the spot and you'll be the first female oh, artist gonna, you, that I've mm-hmm. ever put on the spot. You trying to get her to rap? Can I can do that. Can Wait a minute, I got to put on a beat. You, you want me to looks. put? You I want put the, yeah, I can put it on. No, nah, we can do acapella. No, nah, if I put it on, you gonna hear it in the speaker. It's gonna okay. sound good. You let can, me try. No, it. You got a beat? On. What kind of beat you want to hear? Um, let me let me look for something. Yeah, Y'all keep going. going. You and her talk. Go look, on and talk. That's what I do. I got bars. I'll get it out. I like the way how she looked at you when she said, "I got bars for days." We ain't had no female to do it. No, no, no. Because we had a couple of female rappers on here, but we've never. I've never asked them to do anything. It's always the dudes you kick it on. I want you. I Let's do, do it. That. Well, y'all, yeah. I'm going to find the beat. Y'all keep talking. Let's get it. I'm going to figure it out. And we can chop and cut this all up. So y'all keep going. Yeah, yeah y'all make sure up. y'all follow all my social media. We're going to get you plugged yeah. in. We're yeah. going to yeah. get you plugged tell in. Them, t- t- tell them where to find you. Um, On TikTok, it's under Unique Music. Um, Really, all my sites is Unique Music. And then um, Instagram is Unique Music underscore. So I'm on TikTok. I'm on Likey. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm pretty much on, what was the other one that we're doing? Triller? On all of them. So just follow me. Find me under Unique Music. You're just everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> My TikTok going crazy. I'm almost at 150,000 followers wow. on there. Yeah. So is Unique your government name? No. My so government how did name. you? How did you come up with the name Unique? It's because- similar. It's oh. kind of similar, but my name, my real name is too long. I ain't getting all, y'all ain't getting all that. It's too <laughs> long, so people used to just call me Neek, you know, but I was like, okay, so if I'm going to be a rapper, I can't, you know. So then I just came up with Unique, and then I just put music, you know. Okay. So that's okay. how I came up with it. Yeah, because the word unique is mm-hmm. just everywhere. Mm-hmm. When you go online and you put in unique, yeah. there's like so many things pop up. So exactly. you have to put something yeah. behind it. So I put uh, music behind it, and I just spell it with a K. Because I'm sick cool. with it, S-I-C-K, you know? That's M-U-S-I-C-K, so cool. I like that. That's how I came up with my How name. long ago did you come up with it? Um, How long ago? When I first started when rapping. First it was start- always unique okay. music. I don't, okay. know, I don't know how, but yeah. Because some people start off with something else first and then yeah. graduate into Yeah, so many themselves. people was telling me I need to change my name. Never, 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 never. never. I would never you change my name. name. I love my name. Like, I love my name. Oh yeah, I'm unique music. They gonna have to take me. Too slow. Come on now, turn me up a little bit. I'm gonna turn you up. Just keep. Hey, you don't a don't. Little, a little trap beat. You know what I'm saying? I got you. <laughs> you know she loved that trap beat. You know what you can play? Can I request? You can do uh, Ply's rock instrumental. Plies rock instrumental. I, I I love it when somebody pick what they want because you you can't mess that up. You you the one picked it. <laughs> and when you it's a, it's a nice beat. And this is the perfect platform for somebody to see you. And when they see you, they can say, you know what, I want to work with her. And then you never know who it could be because at the end of the day, we lit over here. You know what I'm saying? Period. <laughs> we is crazy we lit. We all the way turned up. You need hustle. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's a oh, it's oh, a vibe. how did it feel when you said that? Be honest. Hey, I love your name already because, you it know, It's been my going name for years. There, so, yeah. now, I think I had it for you. Come nah, old. when you, nah, when you. I'm uh, old, my dude. I'm with, old, my dude. Don't do this. Okay, all right. You're probably right. <laughs> but, but look, I didn't know. I'm I didn't old, know. My dude. But you <laughs> took it and you ran. With, but it's been, like I said, a unique work for me one mm-hmm. time. See, the store been there 15 years. Yeah. Well, going on 15 years. So did you do it before 15 years? No. Okay. <laughs> I was a kid. I so, wasn't worried so, about nothing. That's right. So like, like, but I love the fact that you did it because now yeah. I get to relate. Like, yeah. that's my girl. I'm mm-hmm. rocking with her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I seen the name, it, I didn't put two and two together at first. I was like, okay, unique round rock. You know, is she really serious about this name? You know, because you don't know what a yeah. person doing. Because yeah. some people change their name up a lot. To be honest with you, somebody might change in a heartbeat. Look at Titty Boy and Two Chain. It took him right, a while, though. Right. But but people, matter of fact, old boy Prince told me last time he was here, he for the change his name again. Yeah, yeah, they do. He that. tripping. Like I'm Keep changing it. it again. I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like you working too hard to be changing his name like this. I agree. I agree. 
And so then you lose all your your followings and all. Yeah, of you got you do the hell started, out of them, right? Correct. It's correct. You start from the bottom when you do that. It's unique music. It's gonna be unique music until I leave this earth. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, we we to get into it now. Now, now she gonna rap. Okay, babe. <laughs> But I don't care what you do. It ain't my business because you will never get to say I put you on the spot. That's the whole game with me. That's why I'm over here like that. So when you, you gotta come, be ready for whatever, though. That's right. I get it. I get whatever, it. So I understand. Trust me. That one right there? Yeah. Give me a second. Wait till that beat drop. No. Oh. Okay. Let me check it out. Let me tell you. Tell me. You don't want no smoke. Laughing at these hoes, you a joke. Got the Draco with me, I tote. Hundred round shots till you froze. Got the camera on, yeah, I'm a soldier. Clip like a curve. Leave your ass flat like a stove. Marshall Lynch, beast mode. My knees harder than these bitches. They talking that shit, then come up missing. Ay, I ain't really playing with these hoes. Okay. I'm pulling eight cars, now these bitches exposed. Blow a hole through your chest like a Cheerio. Unique music, blow a hole through your stereo. Gutter bitch, with no love for a scary hoe. Spin a circle around these hoes like a merry-go-round. My nigga Gapo got pounds. This is a circus. You niggas is clowns I am your highness Yeah, I got the crown Run through your town While I'm making my rounds You bitches not making No noise, not a sound You bitches not making No noise, not a sound right. Hey, I'm the real trap queen Of the underground I'm from a place Where these bitches Don't come around Acting like you really a shooter When you try this hoes Never shot around Hey, uh, let's go uh, Alright now Take it, man This girl That's here Serious man. about that music, man yeah, yeah, That's what I do So, so yeah, 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 yeah You, you you hear it? She got it. Already. Don't play with her now. She ain't come over to play. Don't play. This girl's street. serious, man, right there. So, so just really just ripped it. That's what you do. That's what I do. Love it. Thank you. Live and die by it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Unique music, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Holland Hills in the building, and you niggas better recognize if you don't, she'll you push you down that. and get, get your own out the way. And a manager, he ain't playing either. Shout out Black, nigga. It's going shout, down. Shout out Boss Black over there. Yeah, Boss Black in the building, man. In the cut. Every time he come, he bring heat through here. That's what he do every time. And he always got something for me. He say, E, we doing this one. It's your world, nigga. I'm just living in it, nigga. That's it. <laughs> That's so, it. So let's uh let's let's get back into it. I, um so you and Oh Boy Prince, Round Rock. Mm-hmm. How did that come about? That's my hottest hit. How did that come about? That's Talk crazy. to me about that's, it. That's, that's my biggest hit. That's my biggest hit. Where was we at? I think we was in Maryland. I don't know. We had just got on TikTok and we started getting on there. You know what I mean? Noticing that people was blowing up from TikTok and stuff like that. So you think of TikTok, you think of dance, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how we came up with the concept. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how that came about. So, yeah. Round Rock. Round Rock. Um, I, I heard it on TikTok when I heard it. I didn't know who sung it. Hell, I just said they on TikTok dancing to it. Yes. I didn't know nothing about no. Uh, I One knew him. One the sad out. part is that was a, that was after the video. That was after we had met in here and everything. I didn't put two and two together. You know, yeah. I'm from the old school. I'm mm -hmm. on TikTok trying to do my thing. I didn't mm -hmm. worry about what the next nigga doing. So I say, you know what? This song is nice, you know what I'm saying? Nice little song. You know how you think, like, you, you don't know the nigga. If I knew him, like, that my nigga, he got the song, it's yeah, popping yeah. him and unique. I didn't know. So yeah. I'm like, dang, that's a new challenge. <laughs> yeah, it went crazy. It just hit um, 1.6 million on Distro Kids. So 1.6 million. Mm -hmm. On Distro Man, Kid. on Distro Kid. Over 100,000 people done did the, the dance, dance on TikTok. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it's going crazy on, on YouTube as well. I think it's got like over 400,000 views and stuff like that. Wow. So that's Are one you of, serious? That's, yeah. So. That's massive. Yeah. Do you have any more dance songs coming out? Of course. I got plenty of them. You have to. Uh-huh. You have got, to make I, sure you cater to TikTok, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm catering to TikTok, but I also got, you know, I got stuff like they didn't listen, and I got stuff like trap. Like, I got a whole bunch of oh, different, you, you know what I'm saying, different yeah. avenues. That but I you can, from Highland yeah, Hills. Period. I wouldn't expect nothing else. You better yeah. not come out here half-stepping. You got to make I a trap song. I can't do it. You ever make that right and go up to it through that good by Highland Hills? <laughs> It's serious. Mm -hmm. You got to know what the hell you doing when you go up through there. Y'all got a little park over there. Mm -hmm. I know about the little park. Nigga might come up missing in that park. HHP. <laughs> <laughs> we in the house, period. <laughs> so um, what else, babe? Talk to me. 
I ain't got nothing else. You got to. Oh, let me pull up my notes. I'm going to tell you right now. I got a whole list. Oh, y'all of, wrote some notes. I keep me some oh, notes on goodness. everybody. Why would I not? I mean, so um, what? What? Okay, let's go here. Top three artists of all time. I always got to get this in. Mm. Top three artists of all you time. Really do this to me. Dead, I do it to every co- everybody. That's something we do on here. Dead or alive. Any genre. I, any genre. Remember where Ooh. you at. No, stop throwing that. Why in you don't there? like when I say that? Stop throwing. He's so Texas. Top three. You know what I tell you? Remember, be time. respectful. You know. <laughs> Y'all know how many good artists there okay. is. We just want your top three. Oh, my goodness. Top three artists of all time. You need okay, music. Okay, okay, I'm okay. going okay. go to name her number one. No, you can't name her number she one. Name her number one. one. No, you don't know her number oh, one. Like, she been calling his name the whole thing. Oh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. He has to be her number oh. one. That's my guy right oh. there, too. He's from the South. Just all so right, so know. you know number Lil one. Lil Wayne yes. is number mm-hmm. one. Lil Wayne coming in at number one. And then we got Kanye West. That's the richest black man in America right now. Did you know that? You said of all time, so I'm trying to hear what I, No, I a, like that. <laughs> Kanye West. He, he the richest. He's he took it over. $6.6 $6 billion. $6 billion. That's crazy. The rich. Look it up. Richest black man in America, Kanye just West. That's crazy. No yeah, stop playing with him, Jay Z. Stop playing with him, Puffy. Stop playing with him, uh, Dr. Dre. Period. Don't play with that dude, man. And that dude is serious. Cra- and they said he crazy. Oh, he crazy. All right, he's crazy with them billions exactly. right now. You oh, y'all going to retract. You can be whoever you want to be. I want to be crazy, nigga. Hell, I'm trying to be crazy. Crazy all you want to. Fact. The nigga is worth six point six billion dollars now. He number two for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the phone. He's like, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. <laughs> The nigga is serious about being the richest man in America, and they try to let Sway. You don't know Sway. You didn't know Sway. Yeah. I gotta go with that Sway. You didn't know. Cause if you knew, That's you would have. You couldn't see what he was seeing. And at the end of the day, he proved it. He's six point six billion in the game right now. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. <laughs> so Kanye is number two. Oh my goodness, this is wrong. This is number right. three. Number three. You got a solid pick though. Okay, you went. You okay, went from. Okay. You went from New Orleans to Chicago. When you get in your car, whose music you always listen? No. Other than no, nah, that's her camp. So yeah, that's her okay. camp. Okay, I be listening to C4. Yeah, yeah, that's your camp. Yeah, that's her camp. That that ain't gonna be right. We trying right. to get her, her, her honest artist, opinion. Michael Jackson the third. Ooh, we that's hey, that was a hell of a bang up. That that was a yeah. hell of a bang up right there. That was yeah. a hell of a bang up job you did on the top three. You said Lil Wayne, Kanye, and Monty Mike Jackson. That's it. Michael Jackson, one of the coldest pop artists you ever want to lay eyes on. Mm-hmm. He might change colors in the midst of the situation. But <laughs> damn right, you gonna respect him. <laughs> right. The nigga had that bag too. Mm-hmm. He put his hand out the window. When he put his hand out the window, you niggas respected him. He, Put that hand out the window. You niggas fall out when he put that hand out the window. Yeah. And ain't nobody else ever did that. Y'all forgot about that, didn't you? When Mike stuck his hand out the window, white girls start crying and falling out all over the street. That's crazy. You didn't know that? No, I knew they that. They just take them out. To the, I, I ain't never that. seen a concert. Me, they that. just take them out on a stretcher. I see that on TV all the time. I'm know. like, dang, really? He got that much power? He just... Yeah. And it just fall. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. trying to be like that one day. Could happen. My inspiration. <laughs> Could happen. Easy. That's crazy. It's easy for unique music. Yeah. Ain't nobody playing. Either. Y'all better respect what she got going on. Hey, y'all quit playing with wave me and survive. Hand out, she'll wave her damn hand out the window, and y'all niggas going to feel her. No, nah, she throw a kiss. And, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe you go throw the kiss. Hey, that's why I made that Keep Them Wishing. A nice song. Yes, sir. It, 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 that's the one. You did the hook, though. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to that. So them guys, I mean, they called you up. They out of Fort Worth, we think. We don't know yet. So they didn't call me up. I called them up. Oh, you Remember hit them up. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you went through Instagram and be like, hey, yes. nigga, let's do something yeah, together. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, mm-hmm. hell yeah, let's rock mm-hmm. out. Yeah. Really? That, that's how it happened, yeah. So you bold. Yeah, of you course. You just going to pick Who the damn phone up. No. That's what I'm saying. I'm going <laughs> to call them. I'm about to call them up. Yeah. I'm about to call them up. I don't know if you're going to get the same, you know. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm just saying you. I, I, nah, if I call them, they coming. These niggas is coming to Boss Talk 101. You're, Period. Nah, Talk if your I, shit. If That's I what call I want them, you to do. Talk you have your eyes on the prize and you know what you want and you don't stop until you get what yeah, you want. Yeah, if I call them, them matter of fact, I'll wait till they call me. That's how cold I am. They'll call me. I'm yeah. so hustling so hard that, that it's like, we get calls that, that every day, like, hey, man, can we get on that show? How can we get on that show? Everybody else on that way, you want to be here. Yeah. This is where you want to be if you come through Dallas, yeah. Texas. No, it's I'm, yeah, it's different. So, I mean, you ain't got this platform. Think about it. I'll, I'll wait. The platform <laughs> ain't nobody got nothing like this. Right. 
It's totally different. If they do it, they mimicking it because we the only one came up with this. I appreciate you for having Man, me. Man, we love you. That mean a lot to you me. You family. Your name unique. Yeah. It's a unique hustle. This it fit. Period. It fit. That's how we doing it. So how? Do, okay. So how, if you could work with anybody outside of money bag, yo, I say female in the game. I was so excited. I was about to just spit it out. I'm coming for you, Megan. That's who you mm, want. That That's who you hot. want. That would be hot. That would be a nice. I see it. That would be hot. Megan going hard too. Megan going hard. She up there and, and she call us. You know she call herself. Hmm. Tony Snow, the black, the, the like she pimp C girl. Was she? She named herself <laughs> self something. And I'm like, oh, she like pimp like me. I like this Megan. That's the reason I like Megan the Stallion because she. I'm a pimp fan, and she a pimp fan too. Wouldn't you like to be one? You know what I'm yeah, saying? She's, <laughs> she's she's amazing. Like I would love to have a feature with her. Like, you would love it, man. What? I am going to get that feature with her. Mm. You're going to get that Speaking feature. Speaking of Period. I am going to get that feature with her. Yeah. Well, the guy that we interviewing next, he interviewed Megan Thee Stallion, and mm -hmm. he's interviewed a lot of people. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a good interview. I'm, I need to ask some questions about her and Jay Prince and a lot of other people he's interviewed. Mm -hmm. He coming up. Sean Cotton, he interviewed these guys, all these guys. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'll be doing. Like I said, we're looking at ways to try to bridge the gap in the city. You know what I'm saying? We just had a... We had a a, 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 a horrific thing to happen here, you know, with that whole Mo three thing and all that. You know, it was so sad. Yeah, it it, it was something that 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 just I had to get back on this mic after mm -hmm. that. I was like, I got to bridge this gap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to try to figure out a way to bring the city together. And I think Boss Talk 101 is the way. It's yeah, the way. yeah, yeah, yeah. We bringing everybody through. Yeah. Everybody get to come through, show their talent, share what they really feel about music, get out of the old, all that other stuff. It's gonna be only about the music here. That's what it's about. I like that. Oh yeah, yeah. That way you can I see your vision. Yeah, it's, it's where you going. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like meditation. You mm -hmm. know, like when I come through, I get to get this therapy about telling my talent, talking about what I because you hear a lot of people do this, but I mean, come on, man, we interacting over here, right? But yet we don't only do music. We do, we speak on mental mental health. He yeah we mental health really? yeah we do we that do too. Everything. So we yeah. don't just do yeah. music. There's we no do, topic that we won't We touch. had a comedian on here the other day. Shout out Black, man. This dude be sending so many people my way. I love this dude, yeah. man. We had the, uh, what, the we comedian had Sir, Jesse? Jesse McDonald. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. had surrogacy. Shout out Jesse. Shout out Jesse. And surrogacy. Mm -hmm. We had the surrogacy, the, you know, the black women having white babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had it's that. interesting. Yeah, we had two. Yeah, you got to look at that. Go go check it out. Discussion. And wh who else did we have? Oh, the juvenile. We had a preacher on. We had a preacher. Okay. Oh yeah, I check. Oh yeah, you know I go there, mess around there and get chopped up. You don't know what you're doing in that yeah, book. Leave it with open. Me. Leave it open. <laughs> you don't better know what you're doing. Right. Doing so one thing in one box. We just, so, yeah. I think what That's we're, smart. what we like to do here at Boss Talk is try to bring people through. Like the question I'm about to ask you: If there's a little girl out there, she basically don't know half paint like that. Mm -hmm. I know this little girl too, and she young. She want to get in the industry. She want to get into music. Mm -hmm. What would you tell her? I'll tell her to never stop living your dreams. You keep you keep striving. The worst answer you can get from anybody is no. So with that, keep your head up. If you feel like you want to mess with Half Pint, contact him. He's an easy dude to talk to. You know what I mean? Let him know what you got. And, yeah, just don't give up. Whatever you can do, whatever you put your mind to. Yeah. So I think that – and and so she's – she thinks she she don't she don't know how to contact whoever. That's a good answer. She but she would love to do it. And I have girls like that that hit me up, and I'll be like, I'm, Yeah, you gotta. What you gotta do is you gotta outwork all your competitors. That's what you gotta do. So, so is Instagram seen. the yeah. way? Or Instagram is the way. Instagram, um, Facebook, any type of social media. It's you know free, what I'm right? Yeah, it's free. So. The worst thing somebody can tell you is no. That's that's what you got to keep in mind. That's my whole philosophy. Well, I Snapchat. It don't hurt. It don't hurt to ask. You know. Do you do Snapchat? Uh, I do Snapchat, but not 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 as much. I'm not. You know. I got other stuff to do. Like I got my lives to do. I'm broadcasting and stuff like that. So I don't really have time to be on Snapchat like that. You know. Yeah. And I got my baby. He keep me busy. So. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So, I just attack what I can attack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So. Okay, so so the, the the gates about to pop open, projects about to be you you got to, you know they they booking again. Yeah, I got a like show hardcore. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a show on uh 
what is it, April 7th at a club called Bar, uh, Dive. It's Dive Bar. I in think. Dallas? And it's in Richardson. Richardson. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. They fit. A, they popped the door open like everybody's back, right, babe? Mm-hmm. Like everybody, they they. Uh, Gu, what's her name? Greg Abbott. Mm-hmm. Greg Abbott said everybody can get back out and he take tripping, your mask. No, nah, I'm just yeah, gonna tell you what tripping, he said. He tripping. He Go tripping. on back out there. No, nah, wear your <laughs> you mask though. You know, get back you, out you know, there. But please I went into wear your a store mask. today and not, so nobody. A lot of people was walking in there yeah. without masks. So your kid, you know, your kids are in the house playing. You said get back out there. Don't y'all come in this house? That's what he did. Like get out there. Yeah. You don't have to. It's open. Everything 100. percent and he gonna have to shut it back down, in my opinion. You think so? Yeah, because I feel like a lot of a lot a lot of people gonna get sick. I feel like uh, more people gonna be sick. He gonna have to shut it down all over again. Like, I still been moving the same it. way I've been moving. You can open yeah. everything up, but just at least still wear your mask. Like, I deal with limited people. If you notice, yeah, you notice yeah, how this yeah. thing. But look how I rock. It been so you know just you know I don't know how to do it, man. Yeah, it's yeah. a chemistry. It's a chemistry still with what we do. Still stay six feet apart. Still wear your mask. Still use your sanitizer. I don't care what he talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care what he talking about because I'm still trying doing to all that. It. Yeah, I got a baby at home to protect. I and I don't blame you. Protect. protect. Mm-hmm. What? Um. Okay. So, anything else you got? No, baby. That's okay. True. Look how she look at me. I'm still your baby after I made that earlier statement. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. that. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, so forgiving. I, I I love it. I love it. That's what you got to be with me. I'm hard headed, bumping my head all through the years. It's been 18 years for mm-hmm. us. All right. Let me ask y'all a question. Oh. No, no, you're not doing no interview yeah, over I, here. Let me ask y'all a question. No, no, we don't do it. You won't take no question. You, <laughs> you ain't got a platform yet. Hey. Tell you unique music. <laughs> Go ahead. We go listen. What so, you got? What keeps y'all strong? What keeps y'all going after 18 years? Like, what what do y'all do to make y'all relationship, you know, I, it's work, easy, survive? That's, that's that's a, a, we gonna so easy. We're going to say thing. the exact same what? thing. What? Say it. God. God. Got you. That's the only <laughs> thing it can be. Okay. You have to pray together. You have to, in order to be together, our kids have to pray with us. Mm-hmm. We pray together as a family. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of people don't do that. I mean, you get your two-year-old and your man, and y'all get down on your knees together and pray mm-hmm. to God mm-hmm. and make sure that that, foundation is built properly not we can do everything else but we got to come together at the end of the day as a family and and show that solidarity and put god first and let me add a little bit to that is the fact that if you study your bible and you read it you realize how to tackle certain situations because the devil is always going to come up against you Mm -hmm. and put you against each other at at times you Mm -hmm. know what i mean Mm -hmm. put doubt in your mind put different things in your mind but once you're in the word and you realize that that's all that is, is the devil. Let me go ahead and collect myself back and figure out how to deal with this situation. Got you. That's how. I love it. Black love. Mm-hmm. I'm all for it. Got, it got to be real. I'm all for black Thank love. Thank you so much. Yes. We we definitely yes. love you. And, and, Thank and you we, so much. Like I said, we, I could have got all in your business, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, let me, let me just day. let me just say that I didn't because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you do your thing. And when you're ready to uh, come on here and by mental illness uh, episode, right? <laughs> so where we can talk about it, yeah. m- things that trickle this way and that mm-hmm. way because unique music. What's your real name? I'm not going to tell you. She's not going to tell I'll you. I'll go find it. But anyway, <laughs> I, that's who we'll be talking to at that point. You know? That's my government. <laughs> hey, I'm wanted out here. Oh, she, might, she might have another name that's her alter ego. Really? You might have to ask her what's that name. Do you have alter ego? Um, no. It's you just, need to get one. It's, it's fun. It's myself. And then but it's fun, right? Music. Unique music is my altered ego. Okay. Okay. You know okay. What well, you need yeah. to be able to disclose who yourself is so you can let the people play with it. You know. Uh, fans, we want in. Hey, the fans watching, I can't be giving you all that. No, no, no. It ain't got to be your <laughs> real name, uh, Unique Music. It got to be something that you made up. You can Give us a double down at some point. This later on. I, I'll think about it. I'll yeah, think please. About it. I got you. Because you're coming back on the show, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, anytime you drop a new po- project, you're going to be like, E, I need to get back on. I'm about to come out with something. That's what this platform about as yeah. well. Okay, well, as soon as we drop that with um that kitty cat with Browns, yeah. I'll try to set something up to come back. Right, uh, Black? Because I'm definitely going to I'm gonna be... Uh, the the thing I can say is I want to make sure when we do new projects mm-hmm. is that you you guys have a place to come and we putting eyes on it. And the numbers growing every day on YouTube. Yeah, so we it's need gonna, this. We yeah, need yeah, this. it's gonna be something where yeah. y'all we have our way of doing things. I mean, I see people up on the East Coast like the Breakfast Club, and I see uh, uh, Hot Nine Seven, Big Boy, and, and but but you guys don't have a place to do it at. Yo, so man, this has been a great interview. Great interview, great interview. Love your Good energy. energy. Love yes. your energy. Yes, see? Your energy was on point. It's a vibe, you know? Say, man. Unique music, man. We love you. Anytime you're in the area, you're welcome to come by Boss Talk 101. 
Um, hey, it's a unique hustle. Boss Talk 101. And we out.